it's actually very personal yeah. um sorry but potatoes just like because like you you cut them and then it's like you can like do whatever with them junk. like you yep. can really do whatever with potatoes yep. so it's just like why not anything anything start your day with one Welcome to the TV Internet Radio Video Podcast. I'm joined by Rod Wilson, also known as Hot Rod, an amazing artist, psychedelic musician, just an, an amazing creative person. How do you do it, man? How do you come up with these new sounds that nobody else is coming up with? Well, first of all, thank you for the kind words. But um, to answer your question, how do I come up with these sounds? Um, I'm not really sure. I kind of just, um, you know, go off the cuff, go off of how I feel in a moment, you know. Like, as you know, working together, I kind of just fill it out. Whatever comes out of me, that's what, what y'all hear. So, it's you know, I don't really ever think about the sound, per se. It's kind of just like what's already there in the feeling, I guess. Mm-hmm. I love working with people that are like open-minded and they're not going to be constrictive of creative process. And that, so it's awesome, man. What is empathy and how do you get more empathy? Uh, what is empathy? Yeah. Uh, empathy is the root of all communication. You know what I'm saying? In order to empathize with somebody is a way to truly connect and then communicate with that person you know i just i guess just being willing to like put yourself in someone else's shoes i guess you know just approaching all relationships that way all situations that way and i feel like if you're able to do that you're able to communicate and such you know yeah cuts out all the all the issues that happen because sometimes i feel like i'm i get too competitive you know and that can be a burden on the process because i'm trying to do something so i don't know even know if that relates to empathy but i don't know it could it could be within the root of it that's interesting so you think it's the root of communication i really do that's dope i really do i really do because there's so much communication now that lacks empathy and you see where that goes you know What's the purpose of life? Why are we here? Do you know? Does anybody know? I don't know. But I do know that if you strive to find that understanding of what life is and what's life meaning, I feel like it brings you closer and more grounded to what really matters, I guess. I feel like along that journey, you figure out what actually really matters in life. You know what I'm saying? So I definitely feel like life is something to be studied you know and i don't know i don't really have the answers but i think that's a way to approach it you know what I'm saying? and what's your favorite smell we dude 100 percent we're out good to jersey. what's up shout out to jersey yeah shout out to jersey for legalizing what kinds of foods do you eat regularly? Like, what's your what's your diet like, if you don't mind? Like, is that too personal of a question? Or? Um, it's actually very personal. Yeah. Um, sorry, but potatoes, just like, cause like you, you cut them, and then it's like you can like do whatever with them. Like you yep. can really do whatever with potatoes. Yep. So it's just like, why not anything? Anything. Start your day with one. So you just slice open a potato at the, <laughs> at the beginning of the day? After a night after a nice workout, you know what I'm saying? Get something refreshing, you know, rewarding. You know, you just clean it. Makes sense. Cut it. Then do whatever with it. Fuck with it. I know there's too many to name, but like who who are the artists that you really like are fucking with heavy right now? Hmm.
or dead people any artist you know who who are the artists that you, you feel like you get inspired by you know um k cuddy um kurt cobain <laughs> me yeah they're great oh and you me it's a good one i love me some me dude do you feel weird listening to your songs all the time because i listen to a lot of my own songs and i sometimes i feel like that's a weird thing like is that is that weird or is that why we make music is it just um i think there is something wrong with me i listen to my music a lot yeah almost too me too much. it's a problem like in a loop too you know yeah no matter the time of day so it may be weird but but it's fun thinking about the fact that you created that and, it you, is. and you brought that into existence it, it didn't at first there was silence and then now there's this you know it it's almost like I guess the concept of having a child. Because, like, busting exactly a creative same, yeah. nut, right? Like, yeah. if you was to have a child, you'd be like, yo, like, I really did that. Like, that's me. Yeah. Yeah. Like, Except with a song, you don't have to, like, take care of it and. You can do whatever. You can lose it. Feed it. And trash it. Yeah. Imagine trashing a kid. Just throwing a kid. Actually, that went to a dark place pretty yeah. quickly. <laughs> yeah. But. You can. No, you I mean, upload a child that's even better than trashing it you know because then it, it never dies it's just uploaded well you we know die one day and yeah and, and then the computer so doesn't actually, get back songs up. are better than kids because like they never die definitely they last forever yeah i think if there's one thing that can pull humans out of the rut that we're in right now it's Songs, songs not kids let's, let's not let's be honest let's not bring in generations upon generations but just songs just songs to the point where it's like just songs and no humans they just end but the songs just keep everything running yeah because like vibrations and definitely shit. less pollution definitely yeah cleaner air maybe i mean that's you know it's dinosaurs come back I mean, that's kind of sad, but I see where you, you know, where you're going with that. Um, have you ever smoked cigarettes? I took a pool for the first time earlier this summer. Really? In the Hamptons, yeah. What was that like? I just didn't understand the point of it. Mm. I wish I was rather smoking some weed, honestly. Yeah. But it was, I, I really just don't understand the purpose of it. Yeah. What is the purpose of it? I mean, you know? I guess people, it gives people a, a little high for a second, you know, a little buzz. But then once you start smoking, it probably, you know, it wears off and then you're just addicted, I think seems legit right yeah fact check greg is it legit uh, maybe. we're getting a, a, a maybe over there maybe is it important to feel shitty sometimes so you can appreciate the good times i think it's important to always be present to always be able to feel every emotion to understand okay why do i feel this way what is it that i'm feeling how do i get out of it you know what i'm saying or just whatever or just allowing yourself to feel it just always be present so it's healthy to like feel bad because you're present and you're paying attention to it and and you can pull yourself out of it type of thing that yeah but it's also important to soak in it if you can you allow yourself to feel it but don't soak in it yeah like feel it and then like assess it figure it out but you know, sulking just like any overindulgence in anything is never too good for you, mm -hmm. good or bad. So, why do it with the bad if you shouldn't do it with the good? You know, find that yeah. medium. So basically, like, explore the rabbit hole, but don't like dive right into the rabbit hole, like type of th 
thing. I don't know. I don't know if that was a good analogy. Um, <laughs> what's scarier, a giant 10 foot spider or a tiny two foot horse? A two foot horse? I don't think I'll be scared of a two foot horse. Yeah. I think a, a 10 foot spider would like scare the that shit. That makes sense. That's a legit answer. My scare yeah. shit. Because I already I don't know don't why like, I asked it. I already don't fuck with spiders. Yeah. Spiders are freaky, bro. They got eight eyes. They look at you from every They got angle. webs. Like, imagine getting yeah. caught in a 10 foot spider web. That's. That's frightening. Like. And the in that aspect alone, not yeah. even encountering one, just walking into a web, yeah, accidentally. So how did you get to where you are now? How did you get to this point in life, where, you know, you're, you know, where you are now? How'd you get there? Mm. My mom had me. Then I think that's all people. Time happened. And then now I'm here. It's concise. I like how you cut out the fat of that story. That was good. Um, do you practice any like breathing techniques or any meditation or any mindfulness in your life? Are you, are you, you know, do you think that that helps at all or, or do you, or is just like making music enough and stuff like that? Um, I do practice, but I don't know what I'm practicing. Mm -hmm. I think I'm practicing just getting better at just doing and being. But music definitely helps because it's an expression of life. Yeah. That's dope. Yeah, what is music, man? What why do we make it? What's why are we so drawn to it? Is it the layers or is it the frequencies or is it the emotion? What authenticity? What what is it? I think it's everything you said as the combination. Like it's like water like h2o mm. whereas like music is all those different elements coming together oh, to gotcha. make something like a compound chemical type of thing mm -hmm. let's say you were in the position to run a radio station radio station okay what would you play what 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 would be your playlist would it be all types of genres or would it be only one genre? It would definitely be all types of genre because I listen to a lot of different stuff. So I would definitely want to reflect that with my radio station. And would you have like a DJ voice like all over the songs just like, um, bow, 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 bow. or would it be more just like low key song changes? And conversation or, or I think it would be a smooth mix of both not overbearing where it's all over the place like where it's like dun, 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 like mm -hmm. all the time and that shit but I would definitely want to interject and add a little spin on things maybe like transitioning from song to song or you know something cool yeah have my own little s signature on it but just low-key but like that's digestible you know yeah not too much but do you do you like have any big future goals like you want to write a book or or make a movie or some or anything like that design a car design a transportation system for america my goal my number one goal is that i'm gonna be i'm gonna be able to get to a point where my studio is just a room, just a simple room, like four walls, but every wall has a IMAX screen. 
that's a great goal so i know when i when i've gotten to that point that i made it i did it everything i said i was gonna do i did it the the rounded imax screens like or it can or be rounded huge, it can huge be, led screen well, like no nah, i definitely gotta be imax imax definitely has to be imax what is god and do you believe in god i do believe in god can you even define god or but the thing undefinable? i haven't studied every religion so i'm not going to pretend that i am some type of religion expert but i do believe that there is some higher power that is in charge of all this you know what i'm mm-hmm. saying i don't know what happens in the afterlife i don't know but i do believe that there is a god or a higher power so yeah i agree because it just just like how in the bible like the creation of earth it just it just makes sense in the realm of the science world where it was just a big bang hmm. i mean i think everybody probably has their own conception of what god is for me it's probably different than for you or what's maybe, your, or, or what's maybe, your interpretation of God? I mean, I see this reality as being like the form reality and then the space underneath it, like deep inside of us and deep inside of everything. There's this space that it's all built on top of, you know, kind of like operating system or something, which is what I would call God, like a like the actual fabric of the universe that holds everything together, you know? That's a crazy way of looking at it, and it's conscious. But like crazy, seems like it's way. conscious because it seems like we're a part of it, and we're and we're nah, the result. That's real rap, though. That's real talk. I don't know. Anyway, that's a deep subject. People will probably disagree or whatever. But I'm not trying to push anything. You're not trying to push anything. Everybody just, gotta believe in something. Yeah, I. I Everybody. It's needs more to fun. In. It's more fun to believe in something than not to. Come on. It's better that and it's better to explore other ways to look at things. Yeah. Because what you just said kind of has a common thread with other, you know, beliefs. Yep. I feel like everything has a common thread. So. And that's why it's important to empathize. Nice callback. By the way, our heads are six feet apart right now. For those of you wondering the exact length between COVID Rod's head and my head. This is whole six time, feet. I forgot that we were in a COVID, you know, world. I did too. I it's, forgot it's COVID great existed. The, the self-defense mechanisms that we create to just deny reality and forget about it. It's great. Because then we can live in the moment and talk about God and stuff like that. Shout out to God. Yeah, shout out. Um, How do you feel about the state of the Sixers right now? Apparently, we're getting new uniforms, too. New uniforms? Are they going back to those classic Sixers? They're the, supposed uh, black, to come out next week, ones? I guess. Dude, I mean, I'm excited just because they're actually doing something about the front office that so many people have been complaining about for so many years, you know? so That's how I feel about it. It's like they've done everything that... You know, we held their feet to the fire and they did everything yeah. that we asked for. So at this point, for the process fan's sake, we just hope MB and Ben can win a chip together. Because yeah. if not, one of them getting traded. Yeah. Which a lot I of would people, hate to see happen. I, a lot of people want to trade him now, but I still feel like it's a little too early to trade him. I think it's too early, too. Yeah. Because it's like the two years that we've had those two on the court in the playoffs we made it to the second round like that's that's, you know we got swept this year but ben didn't play so it's like fuck it give him another shot definitely i think and ben simmons is super talented he just needs to i think he's very he's already a a elite defensive player yeah and he's a great playmaker and they really just need to surround him with shooters like he had two years ago, kind of, almost. He creates, there's a stat, he creates the most three-point shots for his teammates 
more than any other player in the league. That's crazy. That's a crazy stat. Let's fact check that. Greg, can we get a fact check? That's we're going on a, a maybe. Maybe. You play sports, right? You play basketball. I play sports. You play football at all? I played football in high school. What, po- what position? Receiver. And I played when I was like 12 or 13. Nice. I did too. I definitely had brain damage from that shit. For real? Yeah. That's probably why I'm doing this right now. Shit. But. That's deep. Yeah. So shout out to Rod, Hot Rod. Do you want to plug your, your Instagram to all 62 subscribers that we have? Uh, At sign. My first name, Rod, R-O-D. Last name, Wilson, without an O. And I didn't know your last name was Wilson until today. Greg Wilson, Rod Wilson. The Wilsons are in the house. You know, much love, peace to everybody. I hope the rest of your 2020 is a great year. And I hope that, um, Same to you, bro. you know, it's been, it's been an interesting year so far. It's been a crazy ass year and it's not over yet. Yeah, it's not it's over. still two months left. Yeah. Or a month and some change. Basically. Anything can happen. Sometimes out of the worst times come the best times. So I hope that happens. Yeah, I'm just so happy that you're one of the first guests on the TV, internet, radio, video podcast because... You know, I feel like your whole mentality is everything that this podcast stands for, you know? And this podcast stands for a lot. It stands for a lot, which is... Anything? Um, Just having fun, living in the moment, and enjoying yourself. And other people enjoying everywhere. <laughs> All right. All about the moment. <sighs> so yeah, I think we're gonna play one of your tracks that I produced, coincidentally or not so coincidentally. You know, it's called "Floating." Do you have anything you want to say to introduce this track? Um. I'm floating right now off this gas, off this pressure. Amen. Yeah, some pressure. All right. Enjoy it. Floating by Hot Rod. Here we go. (laughs) 